Hello, welcome to Scrap Time. My name is Christine and in this video I'm going to give you some ideas to how you can store your cutting dies. And so this, believe it or not, is basically all of my dies that I have left. Now I have been die cutting since I have been crafting for years and years way back when Quick Cuts was still a company. But through the years I've realized the type of dies I like to use and I've gotten it down to this. This is it. So anyway, I am using two different size. I am using magnetic folders in two different sizes. And for now I have them in this box I got years ago from um, Ikea, it's a CD storage box. But because I've moved them to magnetic folders, I want to get some smaller little kitchen boxes. But um, we are doing this while we are at home and all the stores are closed. So once the stores reopen, then I can go and get those. So for now, I'm keeping them in this box. So later on, when you see the tour of my scrap room, um, by then I should have the proper containers. But I'm going to pull this aside and show you more close up what I've done. So a lot of the dies I own are actually by Tim Holtz. And the dies come in this plastic, it was Sizzix dies come in this little plastic um, sleeve. So I'm using that sleeve, but I'm buying these magnetic sheets that fit in. And I'm laying out my dies. Um, I don't know actually, I, there's, I have two sets of wildflowers and I use them at the same time. So if some of these dies don't belong in this set, I'm sorry. But you get the idea that I'm laying it out so now I can see all the dies I have. So it makes it a lot easier when you're working. Now you may say, but there's not that many dies there. Do I really need it? Well, one set in particular I want to show you is this alphabet. This is one of the newer sets. And you get 146 dies in here. And so I'm going to pull it out. And you can see all those little shapes. It took me a while to get them in the proper area. So if you were using this set and trying to spell a word, it would take you so long to find your letters and you might get your B's and your D's and your P's and your Q's all mixed up. So by getting a little magnetic sheet, placing them all down, now whenever I want to use them, I have them all in the proper order and they're good to go. So that's one great way that you can um, one great reason why you should use magnetic sheets. And then I keep the sheet that comes with it, I just slide it back in. So these little plastic cases are really great. Now with this one, I have the two sheets and I just want to show you, when I go to put it in, I usually take this out as well. And the two sheets fit in here, um, but I will say, when it's time to take them out, it does get a little tricky, but they obviously do come out. But the, you can fit two sheets in one, but pulling them out, it's a little tight, but it's still worth it. Now, if I have some bigger dies, this was like a double set. Um, I use this slightly bigger die set. So here I have some that I've cut. I, always, I sometimes leave my cut pieces in. And so I got these other ones from Sizzix. I ended up with one extra die, but I just sort of lay it on top because I didn't want a whole new sheet. But you can get this one, this size, it's a little bigger, and to fit some of your dies that have a lot more dies to them. And then I just can put that back in there all together. So if you do cutouts too, then um, you can always put them in the dies as well. What other sets do I have here? Oh, I know the, um, I just wanna show you the one. So in this case, where it's just one die, then I didn't bother putting it on a magnetic sheet. It's obviously, it's just the die and you don't need a magnetic sheet for that one. It's more when you have a lot of little bits and pieces. Um, and then when I have dies, I have a few dies from, older other companies than that. So here I have my circle dies. I've just put on a sheet. I don't have the paper anymore with it, but it's obviously their circle dies. 
I've used them for heart dyes and some other heart dyes I have. So I use all different companies, not just the Sizzix dyes with this. And then I, as I mentioned, I have the two sizes. Now, because some of the, um, some of the Tim Holtz sets I put into larger folders, I have some of these envelopes left and that's how I'm able to use them. But you can purchase these little envelopes as well. Um, but I typically will just buy the magnetic sheets without the envelopes, whereas with these sets, I did buy the envelopes and the magnetic sheets together. And so now I have extra envelopes because I have done two magnetic sheets per stamp set. I can show you this one because there's a lot in there. So you can see getting it out can be a little tricky but then it does come out. One of my dies came off here. But I was able to put all those dies on and it's just so much easier to look at and find what you're looking for. Now this back part here, I didn't take off. It has this protective stuff on it. And I think you can use it to make notes and write sizes or whatever. It's like a little whiteboard, but um, there's, I don't need to make notes. I don't need to write down, like, I guess if you want, you can put the company or the size of your dies if you have different circles, but that isn't something I personally um, worry about. So hopefully this will inspire you to organize your dies. I know for me, by just having them in the envelopes and constantly having to pour them out and search for what you're looking for was getting a little tedious. So now it just makes it so much easier. I can see exactly what I'm looking for. I can use the die, put it back and move on in my day. And so I found that these magnetic sheets um, were a great way to store my dies. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to Scrap Time Videos on YouTube. In the meantime, here are a couple other videos you might be interested in, in watching. See you next time. Bye bye.